Hi guys, uh, it's Percy again. I'm back uh, since my last video on um, on on implementing Oshindonga online dictionary. So recently, I just took a break from the dictionary and decided to implement or try out my other uh, idea that I had uh, as a practice project for learning Python and Django. And this is actually um, um, an online queuing system, uh, which is basically a web-based um, application that will allow people to queue for services uh, online, doing it online. It's not the service that is being rendered online, but the queuing part uh, is happening online, and then the person would go to to the office or whatever type of service provider is um, uh, when they are 10 uh, or when it's actually they are 10 uh, to be served. Um, so I'm going to make uh, two videos on this uh, on this application or this project. Uh, the first video I'll just show you the or give you the overview of what the application is made of, um, its components, what it looks like. And then in the second video, I will give a demo, like I will demonstrate how it actually functions. Uh, so it's not fully, fully functioning, but at least I have done the groundwork. Um, most of the fundamental functions are, are working quite well so far. Um, this is a project that I'm building on the, my previous project. Um, if you have if you have watched my previous video on Oshindonga dictionary, uh, you might have seen um, you might have seen something like this. So this is the uh, online Oshindonga or Oshindonga in English dictionary. Uh, uh, but now I just added now this new application. Uh, it's an idea that I had of uh, practicing Python and Django, so I just decided to try it out. And uh, in these videos, I'll just give you the results of what I have um, achieved so far. Uh, basically, like I said, this is just an online queuing system. And... Uh, I call it EQ, electronic queuing system, sort of. Uh, it basically have a few tem templates, only for uh, H a HTML template. Uh, the MyQ, MyQ's template is this one. Uh, the Q's template is this one. Uh, this one right here, and then there's a save customers template, uh, which is this one, and then the services uh, template. Uh, not 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 much, pretty much um, just a few of them. Uh, so these are the uh, HTML templates, uh, but then the 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 database structure or the tables for the database. I have how many tables? So this is the database. There's a service provider table. It's this one. And then there's the service table or table for services. And there's um, a table for service enrollment where a service provider is enrolled to a particular service. And then there's a servant enrollment table this one is for enrolling like officials or servants uh, to particular service enrollment. And then there's a table for queued customers. These are the customers who are in the queue or in queues of different services. It's, it's a global queue of all different services that are available on the, on the site. And then there's a saved customer table. This is a table of customers that have been saved. And second last, I think, is the cancelled customer table. So this is um, a table or model, as it's called in Django, uh, a table for customers that have been cancelled, customers that were not saved 
but they were uh, in queue for services. Uh, these are customers who are cancelled by, uh, by the service provider or customers who exited the queue themselves. And then the last one, this is the table for customer review or customer rating where they would be able to rate the services that they have received. So not all of them have been implemented. Uh, this last one I haven't implemented anything yet, uh, but all the other ones I uh, have implemented uh, them, although not quite fully. Uh, basically this uh, application is right here on the page, EQ. So when you come to EQ, this is this would be now a client would come on this website and then they search for the service that they would like to to queue for the service that they they want uh, so here is a list of um, service providers and the services that they are providing or the services that have the, that option of queuing online uh, these are just um, um, testing uh, data or dummy data that I have uh, loaded uh, to test out the application. For example, this would be uh, a service provider, AZ Private Clinic, and maybe they offer doctor consultation service and one can queue online for that service. And then say City of Vintook and the service that they offer for, um, for online queuing is municipal payments. And then we have Home Affairs, obviously, because that's where I work. Uh, we have a lot of it here. So Home Affairs Head Office, and then they have several uh, services, passport application, passport collection, permits, births, ID registration, uh, and then other uh, service providers also, like regional offices also. Uh, this is quite a, a long list uh, of uh, service enrollments. These are called service en enrollments where a service provider is enrolled to a particular service or vice versa. Uh, so some more here. So it can be used by any type of uh, service provider that, that, that basically will allow uh, their clients to queue on, online. Even a barber shop, for example, uh, uh, if you would like to have a haircut, you can check out how long the queue is or you can check out um, different queues of different barber shops in your town or whatever so uh, that's sort of the idea and here you could for example just check the description of that particular service if you click a description it's only that i didn't implement this one fully i didn't load it with uh, descriptions but if you click here then here you're supposed to see the description of this service just a basic um, notes of, of what the service is all about. So now as a client, if you come here and you say, say you want uh, to queue for passport application, you can then check out how many people are in the queue by going to queue right here. And then you, when you come here, it shows you that you are uh, at the queue page for passport applications provided by the service provider now here and then it shows you here how many people are in the queue right now here we don't have anyone in the queue that's why it says uh, this queue is empty click join to start the queue so if you are the first one then you can begin this queue by clicking join but uh, that demonstration I'll show it in my next video and down here it will show the total number of uh, clients in the queue so here it will list down the, uh, the, the the clients in the queue and down it will show the total number and right here it's just supposed to show who is the next customer in the queue and here it's supposed to show um who is or which client is currently being served at the counter or whose hair is currently being cut or um, who is consulting the doctor at the moment um but I'll show, I'll demonstrate, I'll demonstrate how clients are queuing up and how do they show up in the line and their option to exit the queues and so on. So, and this is the, 
here down here there's also an option to check their requirements for example if this is passport application you could click here at service requirement and it's supposed to show the all the requirements for this particular service uh, right here just that i also didn't uh, load that information here uh, so this is the interface for the clients so there are two interfaces one for the clients and the other one is for the service providers or the servants or officials and for those ones the um, their interface would come here to this uh, menu item my queues here so if if you are say uh, an official at uh, home affairs or you are uh, a barber so if you want to check how many people are in your queue or how many queues are assigned to you so you would actually come to my queues here so now my queues this one would only be accessible by people who are registered as servants those who are supposed to serve clients so once you come here it would obviously welcome you by your name and then it will show you that you are registered to serve at which um, service provider and and then uh, it will show you all the queues uh, that you are eligible to serve. For example, if you work in home affairs, maybe you have a, you have you have a responsibility to serve different queues. Uh, maybe on the not on the same day, but basically you could uh, serve on passport application. You could serve on at passport collection permits, beds maybe, and so on. Um, and I, I've just added this doctor consultation. Uh, when I was testing, but basically you will only be assigned to services that are in your organization or in your service uh, provider uh, institution, sort of. Um, and, and then here it will show you in each queue how many people are queuing. For example, here we don't have anyone queuing at the moment, uh, but in the passport collection we have one, and so is uh, so the same at permits and deaths uh, and then say on that day you are working with uh, passport applications uh, queue or counter then you could now start serving your customers by going to serve customers here once you click there it will bring you to this interface which looks pretty much uh, similar to the one for for clients uh, but this one has different functionality for the servant as opposed to the client's one um, so here it will also just welcome you um, and then it's supposed also to show the clients who are queuing up here but we have seen there that there is uh, zero, zero uh, clients in this queue and it also says the same here there are no clients waiting in queue and obviously next customer it also shows that the queue is empty and the current customer there is no customer or, or no customer is being served at the moment uh, but if there's someone in the queue it will also show the button for calling the next customer down here and just to show you just to give you a preview of that we if we go back we check the passport collection has one person or one client in the queue so if we say save customers then we come here, we see this uh, test profile. Uh, this is just one of the test user accounts that I have created. It shows that there is one person in the queue, and that person is the next customer. And down here it shows that the queue size is currently just one. Uh, and here it shows no customer is being served because you didn't call up uh, any customer to be served down here. But you can see now that since there is one customer in the queue, it also shows the button for calling that uh, customer but with the whole uh, um, queue management process i will demonstrate it in my next video and please let me know um, what do you think about this this whole thing has just been implemented with uh, Django and uh, basically Django and i use a lot of bootstrap uh, all this but um, the the CSS the appearance is done with uh, uh, Django but the backend uh, is uh, Django 
the interf- uh, the CSS or the appearance is done with a uh, bootstrap and the back end is purely uh, Django. Uh, so basically that's it. Um, these other buttons, I haven't implemented anything yet. Uh, but as soon as I do, then I'll post another video. Uh, what do what do I have to show here again? Uh, perhaps it's just to show. Let me see if I can see the database here. Okay, so this is basically the the, the whole database. Um, the project is called One Stop, as you can see here, and these are all the tables that are in the database. And the tables that I was talking about for this uh, particular application are here. If we see, for example, uh, saved customer, saved enrollment, uh, queued customer. If, we, for example, we check the table for queued customers, Uh, I don't know what is going on with my internet. It's being slow. Okay, but this is the table for what is it? Queued customers. Yeah, queued customers. The customers in queue. Uh, it basically shows the ID of that queuing instance, instance, and then the customer ID, and then the service enrollment. This is basically the service enrollment. Uh, is the service, the particular service that the customer is queuing up for, say, passport application at home affairs uh, head office, or maybe passport application at home affairs or Chihuahua, or home affairs or Tapi, and so on. And this is the time the person has, uh, or the client has joined the queue. So this is very important. The join time is very important because that is how the queue is being um, rendered the, the interface to make sure that the client who joined first is at the front and it goes on like that. So guys, uh, that's that's the first part of this um, video. Um, make sure to come back and check out the, the second part of the video where I'm going to demonstrate the whole queue management uh, process from the client's side and also from the servant or service provider's side. Thank you very much.